is a must-pass bill. Many disab disabled veterans and their families depend on the vet veterans' benefits to pay things like food and medicine. For many of these veterans, these payments are a lifeline. In some cases, these benefits may even be the only veteran income these veterans have. It is only fair that we ensure that the benefits paid to veterans who were in injured during the military service do not lose value because of inflation. If we don't, it could become hard for people who are injured while serving this nation in uniform to keep their heads above water. H.R. 4958 would financially protect the veterans who pr protected us by providing a cost of living increase. The amount of the COLA will be the same increase that Social Security beneficiaries will receive. I want to thank this, uh, the Disability Assistant and Memorial Affairs Ranking Member, Ms. Esty, for being the lead co-sponsor of this bill with me. This bill has also enjoyed bipartisan support I urge my colleagues to support H.R. 4958 and help di disabled veterans and their families keep up with rising cost of basic necessities. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With that, I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back. Gentleman for, continues to reserve. Gentleman from Minnesota is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I'm prepared to close if the gentleman has no further speakers. I am also. Uh, good piece of legislation. I thank the gentleman for bringing it up. Uh, it's the taxpayers understand that uh, this is a exactly what we're supposed to be doing. It's a good piece of legislation. I encourage a, a yes vote. I yield back the balance of our time. Gentleman yields back. Gentleman from Tennessee is recognized. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank uh, Subcommittee Chairman and Marine Veteran Mike Boss for bringing this up. It's a great piece of legislation. I encourage all members to support H.R. 4958. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back.